vulnerability used to be this thing where I thought that I always had to share like my deepest pains and sufferings with like, everyone around me in order to feel connected to like let them know where I was at. And I think that was a good starting point for being vulnerable and like sharing the the things that I was having trouble with. But what's changed is that at a certain point I realized that by always like dumping my like my my pain onto other people without and just talking about it, it almost gave me it almost took the incentive away for me to actually shift internally like what was actually wrong. And so there was value in sharing these things. But there became a point where I was sharing so much that I forgot to actually just look at like what was causing me pain and suffering and then work on fixing it. And so vulnerability for me is now it's more like living in a like living in a state of vulnerability. And it's pretty vulnerable to be human. Like I've learned that it's there are so many sensations that are going on. There's a lot that's happening at once. And so it's been it's become like this overwhelming game of life of sensations that some of it's like really pleasurable and some of it's really painful and it's okay to just like live in that state of vulnerability and feel all of it without feeling like I need to control it or feel like I need to do anything about it or share in any specific way. It's more so like living in that in that state continually and um, working to unravel the places in myself that I don't feel vulnerable and that I'm still trying to hide. And so it's it's changed quite a bit but